This guy still had the audacity to ask for my number after this haha crying emoji. Instead, I gave him a lesson on what spotting means sparkle emoji. Never again. <laughs> Yo, the shameless audacity of this man squad. <laughs> he actually. <laughs> <laughs> nah bro that's my boy this guy does the opposite yo all right listen today it seems like we're dealing with another hall of fame ultra s tier thought right trying to expose and ruin a man's reputation his name and his life and i'm not exaggerating when i say this because <laughs> get this man it says that this woman repeatedly asks this man to spot her while squatting and then decides to shame him on social media so with that being said sit back relax you got another spirit ent crazy 10 out of 10 video on your hands bro and if you're watching this late at night say what's up to me to my late night squad run up the comments bro with that being said yeah sit back relax grab you something to eat and uh get ready for this video man i don't got much else to say so let's get into it all right i'm gonna go ahead and mute that um this is probably half blurred for y'all because she's clearly dressed like a huz literally I, I don't understand this bro me as a full grown man like even me bro like i don't <laughs> i mean it's clearly for attention a lot of these huz that go to the gym anyways don't go to workouts they go to the gym to get male attention uh, that's just the true fact of the situation but yeah she got music in the background i'm gonna mute that and it's probably blurred for y'all bro because she's basically wearing booty shorts man uh i don't understand it's just huz activities bro what can i say no shame at all but let's go Every time I risk letting someone spot me, they end up trying to kill me. I told him how dangerous this was after. This is not how you spot someone. This guy still had the audacity to ask for my number after this haha -ha crying emoji. Instead, I gave him a lesson on what spotting means sparkle emoji. Never again. I'll spot myself now. Strong female emoji picking up weights. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. All right, and that's the end of it. That's literally what spotting is, yo. What did she expect the boy to do? To like lift up the weight before he saw her failing to... Listen, if you've ever been to the gym, bro, and if you ever had somebody spot you, I think I had it once or twice. Ah, actually, never mind, bro. I've never, maybe once or twice in my life, but I don't really ask anybody to swap me because, not swap me, what the to spot me because bro I, don't, I normally don't go too hard like i normally don't do my prs too much i focus on resistance training but put that to the side if you've ever spotted someone you know that that basically means watch them right and the rep where they look like they're having trouble put your hands near try not to help them maybe help them a little bit but they're supposed to finish the rep and if they can't right where he noticed that she can't finish the rep that's when you step in and pick up the weight and help them out that's basically he did it perfectly literally textbook style how to spot someone and what does he get in return being made fun of and shamed on social media and let this be a lesson to all of y'all especially if you work out in a public gym bro do not <laughs> do not risk it my boy i say it so many times don't risk it do not risk it and stereotype these hugs man and, and i say that because there's a difference between a self-respecting woman and a modern hugs it, it is just reality if you go through my videos you will know exactly what what i'm talking about if you see a female with her phone out stay far away never ever don't even walk up close to her because you will find yourself in one of these videos my boy where she's either trying to <laughs> 
like frame you as a creep or frame you as incompetent whatever bro you will end up on her instagram story or her tiktok and you will have random people on the internet and random huzz on the internet attacking you for no reason so just don't even walk up to females in the gym bro it is just not worth it if you don't want to listen to me go ahead and risk it and uh don't come crying to me once this shit happens to you because this is crazy to me let's actually run that back like let's reread the shameless audacity of this huzz man literally seeking attention only going to the gym for one reason and one reason only and that is male attention bro i'm gonna run it back bro it says every time i risk letting someone spot me they end up trying to kill me ha 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 i told him how dangerous this was after this is nuts how you spot someone this guy still had the audacity to ask for my number after this ha 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 crying emoji basically what she's saying is she's showing off the fact that guys talk to her because she's dressed like a hus bro literally walking to the gym with booty shorts on man instead i gave him a lesson in what squatting means oh my god i'm so much smarter and more competent than he is never again i'll spot myself now i don't even need him when she literally asked him for help but anyways, y'all can let me know what y'all think about that, bro. I'm so fed up with this shit. I swear to God I am. Like, if you watch, and to my OG squad, that's why I love y'all, because y'all can vouch for me, bro. When we started to take a look at these entitled, crazy, demonic huzz, especially the ones with them piercings, bro, I started out calm. Like, I started out I started out being, like, moderate with these huzz, bro, like, being calm and collected. But as we continue going on, it just continues to get worse, and these huzz don't change, bro. They don't. So steer away. Stay safe and just don't risk it. If you want to risk it, we will see you on one of my videos, bro. Um, <laughs> you can't even walk up to him. You can't even talk to a female in the gym, bro. In, in the public, anyway. Anyways, let's move on. Uh, second video says that this homeowner got revenge on this squatter for living in his basement for a few weeks. Uh, I still can't believe this is actually a reality in the States, man. <laughs> <laughs> no shot he locked him in. <laughs> Yo! We normally remove the doors when battling squad. <laughs> he actually. <laughs> nah, bro. That's my boy. This guy does the opposite. Yo! Hell yeah. This props to him. Yo, props to my boy right here. This is exactly what you got to do to deal with these just idiots, bro. And y'all noticed how all these squatters, when they actually are successful, it's usually a girl that they do this shit to, man. That, that one girl, bro, she was like a mom taking care of her mom. Like, she literally had kids. She was like in her 50s or 60s, and she was out tending to her mom, right? Because her mom was in the hospital. She comes back, and she finds this retarded person in her house claiming to be a squatter. You know why he did that? Because he knows she won't do shit about it, or she can't do shit about it. But when they do it to a guy, bro, this is exactly how you deal with these morons and he's actually being restrained because a lot of guys and y'all can <laughs> tell me in the comments as well if somebody was to walk into your home while you were out on vacation or away for a few days and say i am a squatter i have rights to live in this house what are the chances that you're not gonna shoot them 90 percent of guys will bro <laughs> you will get shot right so this guy is even being restrained but this is what i mean bro when you have idiots and the law doesn't give you justice you got to take justice into your own hands and you got to be creative with it my boy yo i'm gonna give him another tip go to an exotic zoo or an exotic animal dealer right legally and buy yourself like i don't know rent a giraffe or okay that's too crazy <laughs> i don't know why i said that but like rent a black bear or uh, can you do that but point is get a wild predator of an animal like a tiger or some shit and have the tiger in front of the door so once this moron breaks out of the door right he's gonna be faced with a tiger and just scare the living life out of him man he will never do this to somebody's property ever again ah man this shit made me happy bro yo if you saw the video i made a few weeks ago or a month and a half ago i think now i had one lady in um new york bro she literally and i'm not exaggerating if i remember i'll put it up on the screen she literally went to confront a piece of dog shit who was living in her home and guess what the police took her to jail in cuffs clown world man <laughs>
<laughs> Anyways, y'all can let me know what y'all think about that. That video Loki just made me happy, man. What can I say? Hey, with that being said, I'm gonna move on to our third and last video, which is uh something about this heated traffic stop got real personal real fast. Alright. I'm not talking to you. You don't need passenger. To. Roll your window. This down. is a threat. This boy is a rager. I don't pre-watch my videos. I swear to God I have not seen this. Right? But this boy right here. He does not play around and his temper is extremely short and he's extremely hot headed. You know why I can tell? Because I do stereotype and I do judge people. And I said this for the past year and a half, bro. Let's run it back a little bit. Y'all see this right here, right? Do you know what that is? That's the Punisher logo. Look at how kitted out he is. This isn't like a normal police officer. I mean, it says sheriff right there. But he chose to get all these extra, like this knife right here, bro. That's not the default outfit. You know how you know how in GTA and video games you can like equip extra shit to your character. That is not the default outfit of the sheriff of the city. He got all that extra stuff on him. You know why? Because, like I said, this boy is a threat, man. He's super short tempered. I could be wrong, but let's see, bro. Let's see. Punisher logo is crazy, man. You don't need passenger. To. Roll your window down. No. He Roll your window to. down. He doesn't need to, sir. I'm not talking to you. Okay? He does not need to. I'm not talking to you. He does not. Please He's call the your driver, right? right now. He's here. Where is he? I'm not talking to you. He's the driver, my boy. He's the one that's in the car. And if you're stopping him for a traffic stop, from what I know, the passenger doesn't have shit to do with this. You can't get the passenger for nothing. Unless the passenger, I don't know, has like a gun visible or is clearly doing drugs, like right in front of you. If not, if the passenger's just sitting there existing, he has nothing to do with the situation. You should be focused on the guy driving behind the wheel and the guy that's talking to you right now. Not his friend that's sitting in the passenger seat, man. But like I said, a lot of these sheriffs and officers have a crazy ego, man. He's here. Please identify yourself, your badge number. He's here. Where is he? Sir, please, can I talk to you over here? Are you the same guy that showed up to my house where your son hit my vehicle? How don't you tell me? I don't know anything about that. You don't? You're on camera at my house, knocking on the door saying your son hit my vehicle. Okay. Is that you? What's your you, name? You tell me. Identify, are you Clay, Clay Michael Saunders? I'm Detective, Detective Saunders. Detective Saunders? That's correct. Okay. You have a, a daughter named Kaylee and a son? Huh? Nope. What's your son's name? You don't have to worry about that. Okay. Please Show provide your, your supervisor. Damn, they got a personal beef? <laughs> what? No, sir. Yeah, he's Call here. your supervisor. I just told you he's Sir, here. can I please see you over here? Are you the supervisor? Why am I being pulled over? Yeah, you need to relax. You're being recorded. Am I awesome. being detained? So are you. Am I being detained? Yeah, you're being stopped. Why? You see the lights behind you? It's a Why? traffic stop. Why? Because you're being stopped. Are you a traffic Passenger, police? You need to give your ID no. or else no. it's going to no, be a no, different no, no, no. a different outcome here for no, you. No, it's so. not. You need to identify yourself. No, he does not. I'm not talking to you. Then, okay? Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Please provide your supervisor. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, y'all know how I stand when it comes to traffic stop and dealing with the police in general, right? I have always said it is always the smartest thing to be calm, collected, respectful, and professional when dealing with the police, regardless of how dog shit the police officer is in front of you. Because at the end of the day, that person has a gun and they can legally kill you right regardless right if they get mad at you my boy they still have a weapon on them and they could end you so always be respectful and professional when dealing with the police but in this case it seems like they have personal beef and it seems like i could be wrong that this officer is just straight up harassing them but let's put that to the side for a second my real question is why is he asking about the passenger man if it's a traffic stop and y'all can let me know if i'm wrong seriously get down in the comments but from my personal experience or from all the videos i've seen the police officer in a normal traffic stop, right? If the car passed a stop sign, if the car ran a red light, guess who's supposed to be questioned? Guess who's supposed to provide identification? The person that was, I don't know, touching and using the steering wheel and actually driving the car, not the person that was just sitting in the passenger seat. So why does he keep asking for the identification of the person in the passenger seat, man? What? Who's your supervisor? What's his name? Do I need to call the sheriff's office right now? You're doing something illegal. I know what you are. You're a crooked police officer. Mm. Last, year, last year, you were reprimanded. Ooh. Right or wrong, you had a written written reprimand. 
I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You're being recorded. Look at his face, bro. Look at his face, man. He's used to people just being scared of his just physique when it comes to all this shit that he got on him. His badge, his look, his long beard. That's what happens. And that's the face of somebody who realizes they can't really bully this person. And it seems like he tried to do it before. Y'all heard him. This person, this officer, right? literally pulled up to this man behind the camera's house from what i'm understanding from the conversation so they got personal beef and it seems like the guy behind the camera is just not willing to get bullied bro yo how many more times are you gonna say that so okay. are you call your supervisor huh and that's the end of it all right listen y'all can let me know what y'all think about that uh it seems like my boy behind the camera just did the right thing man because like i said you're always supposed to be professional and respectful with these police officers regardless bro listen you're supposed to control your emotions man because you never want to find yourself in i don't know bro in one of these crazy police shootings because that can happen to you in the u.s but like thinking back about what he said bro it seems like and it is probably true that since this officer pulled up to his house that they got personal beef and the officer seems like he's harassing him bro so yeah he's still on business what can i say you don't don't ever allow yourself to be bullied by anybody regardless of if it's a police officer agent whatever and yeah i'm in this video right here yeah can let me know what y'all think about this and uh yeah bro this was a crazy good video i told y'all y'all were gonna enjoy this right and listen i'm gonna say one last thing before i hop off when it comes to that first clip bro i'm talking to my boys i'm being so serious yo you gotta understand the risks of indulging and involving yourself in the modern day cuz if you get what i'm trying to say and i said it in the beginning as well there's a difference between a self-respecting woman and a huz and a lot of these girls you see outside that dress like that bro are demonic huz and if you risk even trying to help them you will find yourself in in a bad situation bro just look at how many guys are having their lives ruined because of accusations and allegations and bullshit man so my point is stay away my boy protect yourself and to everybody protect yourself in general man in this day and age that's pretty much the only thing you can do so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you're not already go follow me on x at spirit ent underscore and i'm out